Yeah, I got a Cooper Hawk drying off. I have a little shower here. Got his tail all fanned out. Juvenile Cooper Hawk. Oh yeah, a nice horizontal limb here. And see all the wonderful bars on his tail. This is a juvenile drying off. So. It rained pretty good last night, so I'm sure they're all wanting to be a fanned out and drying off. I'm starting to see a few of the other birds in the berry bushes, and that's why he's here. He's drying off and hunting, so. Got his hackles up to the back of his head there a little bit. We're just making our little bird count. We're on the trail hiking around the pond here and seeing exactly what's in the area. Oh yeah, I'm going to do the breast feathers a little bit. Oh yeah, we'll keep an eye on him a little bit here. There we go. Yeah, I can see him working on his wing there, top of his wing. All right, well, we'll check around then. There's our kingfisher on the hunt still. The wind's picking up. He's keeping a sharp eye out for opportunity to catch something. Oh yeah, he's looking over the back now. Checking everything out in every direction so they can catch him a fish. I've seen him catch a couple. These are good fishers. We also have a green heron in the area too. And we like it when they find them. Well, he's not having too good luck with the fishing right now. We'll check on him in a little bit. I hear the geese coming in now. It's a flock of geese. All right. Kingfisher is on the hunt. He's waiting for the opportunity to catch a fish. There he goes. And he's diving down, and there he goes. Blue heron wants to clean up a little bit. Or the green heron. He wants to clean up a little bit. He's under his wing. You see his long legs there. Been down here fishing, enjoying the sunshine. We've been enjoying watching him. This is the juvenile. He's quite the fisherman. Been doing really good. Drive by here when he's standing in that grass, you can see how camouflage is. You hardly can see him. We're all excited about it because he's in the exact same spot he was yesterday. Oh, yeah, look at this guy. He's really stretching up. When he snaps that neck out and catches that fish. He's really a good fisherman. Oh, yeah, he's preening up. Once again, all these feathers in order there. They have American bitterns here also. They're a little bit lighter colored. So we met another bird watcher and he was all excited about showing us the green herons. That's how we uh, recognized it. I know he caught two fish, so I think we're going to call that good. He's just a looking around. Well, looks like he might decide to preen up a little bit. 
is a good spot right next to the Boeing Aerospace Pond here in Kent, Washington. We get a lot of birds here. It's actually in a pretty good spot. Twitch his tail a little bit there. And, oh yeah, he's getting them feathers all cleaned up. We'll keep an eye on him for a while. There you go. You right. see he's got a few uh, white spots on his back still. Anyway, we got a happy camper here. He's going to preen up. There he fans it out, you can see. Look at that. Good looking bird. He's going to get all cleaned up. We always like it when we get our birds preening. A lot of activity. Oh, yeah, I got that tail fanned out now. Been a wonderful job. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do his feet now a little bit. Oh, yeah, I'm going to work on that tail some more. See how thin those shins are there. You can barely get a glimpse of that. Oh, yeah. You're doing a fine job. We have filtered light today, so that's good. Oh yeah, he is doing a complete makeover here, doing the feet and everything. Oh, back to that tail again. We like that. My goodness, look at the bars. This is really a good looking bird. Oh yeah, beautiful orange bars on the chest. What I like about using the window mount in my camera on the car, it doesn't scare the bird. Oh, there's that fanned out tail again. It doesn't scare them a bit. I can sit there and shoot from the car. It's a great blind and the birds are relaxed. We get good videos that way. Oh, yeah, I'm not done there yet. Look at that with you. Still working on it. I certainly like that. Got those breast feathers all fluffed out, now he's spreading that tail again. You didn't even notice those white spots on the wing there, the back of the wing. I'm going to work on those feet some more. Oh, yeah, look how long those toes are. He's a good looking guy. Or gal, we don't know for sure, but anyway. Great blue heron. Printing up. Got filtered light today. We're down at the wetland and just saw two immature Cooper hawks flying together. They've hung around you for a while. Oh, this guy's gonna scratch up. Look at that. Well, maybe he's getting under his chin there and everything. Maybe we'll get to see him stretch his wing a little bit. They're very interesting. There's a big rookery of them not too far from here. They have their nests there every year. It's behind the dog kennel and uh, in Kent. Just behind the KOA campground down that area. And that's where that rookery is. So we've watched them in the spring there. So. Anyway, we're always happy to see the great blue heron. All right, got our osprey. Fishing down here at the Boeing Aerospace Pond. And our favorite perch. Looking down in temp. Well, I got a few bees bugging him or flies. Must smell like fish. <laughs> Well, they do catch them. Just sitting there is a good perch. I've seen her there before. See if I can come in a little closer on it. Boy, looking down. See if there's any activity in there. Oh, yeah. His foot. Something with her foot there. Well, let's just see how close we can get here. There we are. Look at that. 
Good looking markings on this bird. Look at that. A nice close up. Back off a little bit. There we go. And that's our osprey. She actually sat on the corner of the building yesterday and the peregrine come to the other side and the peregrine talked to her a little bit but they didn't have any fuss about it. And I was amazed that the size between the osprey and the peregrine falcon is not that much difference. The osprey is just slightly bigger. So The osprey is not that big a bird. We always think it is because we keep thinking about bald eagles and and the ospreys. And of course this is the one that they patterned the Seahawk mascot after. That's what the Seahawk is, is actually uh, osprey. Oh, just looking to the left there and right, checking everything out. Definitely on the lookout for a fish this morning. Down here at the Boeing Pond, you can hear the geese calling, they're on the pond now. I'm down here looking for one of the immature Cooper Hawks. But I did see the Peregrine Falcon on the building, so I was walking in now. I was going to make a movie of the Peregrine Falcon, and I found this flicker here. So I thought I'd make a little movie of that. Beautiful blue sky, the sun is just right. We'll maybe try to zoom in a little bit more on it, see what we got here. There we go. Come down here just a little bit so get on his head. See what he looks like. Yeah, there he is. Trying to get in up close. This is our flicker. He just has shooting with my Sony camcorder. I have a 1.7 doubler zoom on it, or lens. I'll back off a little bit. There he is. It's quite powerful. I can go back quite a ways with it. Let's show you how it operates here. It's a good little camera. Look at that. All the way back, I pull him right in. There he is. Well, he's going to look around a little bit. You can see his beak there. Well, this is a good bird watching area. We get a lot of birds here ducks, geese, uh, Cooper hawks, kestrels, and like I said, we have a peregrine falcon. There's a pair of them that sleep on the Boeing Aerospace building every night, so thought I'd come down and make a little movie of it. Well, I think we'll call that good then. Over and out and enjoy the video. Well, here's our Merlin down by the Boeing Pond. The Peregrine's on his ledge, and this little Merlin's hanging out here by the pond on a dead twig there. And we're all excited about it. Yeah, we're glad to see that the peregrine's back, and we've been look looking for the Merlin and surprised to find him sitting here, so we're kind of excited about it. All right, he's looking every which way. Let's see if I can come in a little closer on him. There you go. I can see the markings on his face. A beautiful bird. We looked uh, for Merlins over on Canyon Road and couldn't find any, but we see a pair of these guys that hang around here uh, all winter and now uh, just happy to see this guy. Makes it very interesting looking kind of over here now. Oh, he's just a bobbin, he said. He's looking for something to chase, I think. Doesn't look like his crop is full. He's pretty flat on his chest, so he looks like he's hungry. All right, then. See if I can uh, refocus here. Okay. They're both cleaning up. Oh, yeah. They won't work together hunting. Oh, he's going to fan that tail and stretch. Look at that, would you? Isn't that great? Look at that. My goodness. That is just beautiful pose. Look how beautiful this bird is. It's our Merlin. Preening up. We like that. I saw him chase a bird earlier, a small bird. And he took off and then he came back. Joined his friend here, his sibling. And they both decided to preen up in the tree. Oh, 
yeah. There we go. He's going to preen up some. Look at this guy. Do some more preening here. Fan that. Look at him stretch. Isn't that wonderful? What a beautiful stretch. The leg wings up. Look at that. What a wonderful. Okay, he's, there he goes. He's off on the flight. He chased the couple birds. Boy, they took off too. Coming right over. What a great bird. Well, here's our little falcon. Still hanging out here. Nice blue sky. Oh, look at that stretch. There you go. Look at that foot. My goodness. Oh, yeah, I'm going to scratch up now. Just sitting there kind of drying off. There he's showing off. Look at that. Looking around. Yeah, it quit raining. Now he's really checking out. There's a lot of birds here. He might try to go catch something. Oh, yeah. He's intent. Look at this guy. He woke up now, didn't he? Oh, yeah. He's not sleeping anymore. <laughs> Merlin here waking up. I would try to finish up here. Got the blue sky, bird sitting there is relaxing. He'll be pretty inactive. He's well fed, has no reason to fly around. Got a full crop, gonna digest the food a little bit. Work's done for the day. Sit up here and just enjoy it. Great little bird. We like these merlins. Don't find them that often, but when we do, we get all excited about it. We got a lot of food on the trail for them. Got Oregon juncos, there's some starlings, plenty of robins. Rufus-sided towhees, many, many kinds of birds. Have song sparrows and just all kinds. I also have some cedar wax wings at the end of the trail down here where I cross over the road, so we have quite a variety here. There's a good looking Merlin. Now I'm going to do a, under the wing there a little bit. Still preening, getting it all squared away. I can hear a flicker in the background there. Oh yeah, getting down there by the foot. Look at that. Well, how interesting is that? Wonderful. Got this Merlin in the blue sky and she's preening up. been kind of cloudy today. It just cleared off and got really nice and we're do out doing a little bird watching. Looks like the birds are enjoying the sunshine too. Gonna preen up and make a good movie. That sky is really blue. We're liking that. We got a little bit of a breeze. This Merlin here is taking the opportunity to get all squared away. Look at that eye. I love their markings. They're good looking birds. All right. We got a little bit of clouds coming over a little bit, but still pretty good. Our lighting is really good. All right. Well, I think we'll uh, watch them scratch up one more time here. She's doing good, putting on quite a show. She's always got one eye open for the prey. She's always looking for something to catch. All right. Doing her foot. Look at that, would you? That is absolutely wonderful. Look how yellow those feet are. That's a very healthy bird. She's eating good. They have big feet. Yeah, that's our Merlin. She looks pretty content. Looking down. Checking everything out. All right. There he is. Look at this guy. He's 
been singing. We'll see if he does it. Here's a prenup. What a cute little song he's got. Beautiful bird. <laughs> Oh yeah, the birds are happy. It's springtime on the trail now. Finally got some sunshine and they're all happy about it. Oh, he's just looking around. Like little eyebrows he's got and little tiny feet there. Very interesting. Looking for something to eat, I think. See, I was singing away here. Probably looking for his girlfriend. Oh, yeah, he's really enjoying the sunshine. Beautiful markings on the head there. Right down the middle is a stripe and two eyebrows. And a dark spot in the middle. We're going to preen up a little bit. What a happy little camper here. Totally enjoying the afternoon sun. She looks at me a little bit. See what I'm doing. Uh, she's twitting her tail and smacking her beak a little bit. Bobbing her head a little bit now, looking. Oh yeah, she's definitely thinking about hunting. Sharp, look at her, yep. Very intent. They start bobbing their head, you know, they're really planning their strategy. There she is. Oh yeah. Yeah, she's thinking about it right now. Here she goes, watch this, there she goes. I think she's gonna go, yep, and away she goes. Circling right over my head now, going over to There she's calling. Oh, she's greeting somebody. Yeah, another falcon came in. They're talking. E-chirping, listen to that. She's all excited about it. That might be her mate showed up. Oh yeah, he's flying right ahead. She sees him. Yep, the mate's come back. How about that? She's all happy about that. There she is. She landed over here by the ladder. That's why it's reunion time. There she is. She's really happy. He chirping and calling now. Look at that. He's high in the sky above me. Oh yeah. Well, she is really happy. The mate has now shown up. <laughs> you can hear her. That's the chirping. That's their greeting. Oh yeah. He's still above the corner of the building circling. Oh yeah, happy day here at the Boeing Aerospace building, a Peregrine Falcon reunion. Here he comes soiling around the corner again. He's in the air and she's on the perch here. All right. Come in a little more, there we are. She's right on the edge of the building. He isn't far. She flew right over the pond and greeted him. Well, there's our peregrine. She's been calling. I think she's looking for the mate. She's right on one of the poles, light poles, down by the Boeing Aerospace Building. And hopefully we'll get her calling again. She's not far from where she goes to take her bath, so... She was on the corner of the building calling. And she sailed over here and she was calling and then now we're waiting to see if she's going to go take her bath. But definitely making the e-chirp noise. Like there you go. They do that when they hand off food and that's their mating call also. So she's looking for her mate. He must be back in the area. How interesting is that? But this pair will winter out on the Boeing Aerospace Building. They do that every winter. Where they nest in the spring, we don't know. They go away and uh, 
and after nesting season they come back here. But this is a female, we can tell by how her markings are on her head. The male, he, his is more like just a football helmet. His white stripe doesn't go too far up by the eye, so. Anyway, she's uh, giving us a pretty good show today and we're glad to find her. We're going to keep a close eye on her and if she goes over and takes a bath, well, we'll go over and try to get a video of that. Oh yeah, we'll get a little close up on her now. Look at that eye. Isn't that fantastic? Oh yeah, she's looking every which way. She's trying to locate that mate. She must have seen him fly by and she's been calling. Look at those big eyes, a beautiful yellow around her sear. Look at that. What a magnificent bird. We get excited every time we find them. This is really a hot spot to find the peregrine almost every time we come down here. The Boeing Aerospace Building by the pond right there in Kent, Washington. They sleep on the building every night. They hang out in the area and we usually get a good video. Look at that. There she is. Keeping a close watch on this gal. You can see the winds pick up. Oh, there she goes. Alright. Well, he's going to preen up a little bit. Get himself all spruced up here on the pole. All those feathers squared away. And we like it when we find him preening. Can't get over how beautiful this blue sky is. We got the perfect lighting now. We'll just watch him for a while. I don't know where she's at. She's probably up on the building. There we got a good profile shot on him that time. Oh yeah, now he might do his tail for us. Oh, a stretch. Look at that, would you? My goodness, that's nice. We like that. We can stretch this way. Look at him stretch. Oh, my, how beautiful that is. Well, how lucky can you get to get a shot like that? Peregrine Falcon checking everything out. Look at how alert he looks now. He's probably ready to take off. Well, he's going to put his foot up again. We certainly enjoyed that. He's watching that airplane again, that model airplane. Oh, beautiful black, yellow around his eyes. Look at that. All right. Look how big those feet are. Oh, now he's going to preen that tail. Look at that, would you? I like it when he cleans up like We're so lucky to have this spot here to watch these birds. You get blue sky like this, my goodness. Yeah, he's going to get all those feathers preened up, just showing off just beautiful for us. And they're also following a red-shouldered hawk in the area. So we're just kind of making the rounds and the uh, Found this guy sitting here. Well, looks like he's going to work on those feathers a little more and keep an eye on that model airplane. We drove by the Boeing Aerospace Building looking for his mate, the female, but she wasn't up on there, so we'll go ahead and make the rounds here and see if she's down hunting ducks, maybe down by. Frager Road South and 204th. That's just on the west side of the Green River. Oh, he's looking alert now. He's looking all over. I think he sees his mate there. Yeah, I think she flew over. She's dive bombing. Or something's dive bombing. Might be a, some falcon. But that's what's going on. Oh, yeah, he flew over here now. Got some really good lighting on him now. Look at the colors. Sun is coming in absolutely perfect. Red-shouldered hawk. We 
Come and checking him out. Oh yeah. Yeah, he just uh, checking his little field below him, and he's decided that uh, he's gonna come over here and hunt. They just flew over here, and it's better lighting for us. Now you can really see the stripes on his tail. All the great markings on the back of his wings and the coloring on his head. Look how intent he's looking. Oh yeah, he's at the perfect spot for hunting here. And the chest feathers, look at that. It's going to preen up a little bit. How great is that? We found our red-shouldered hawk again. Oh yeah, look at that tail. He's going to preen. Look it. We're always excited when we get to see that. He's really showing his stuff. Look how yellow those legs are. What a magnificent bird. How lucky is that? Come down, sunshine like this, and get him all preening up, showing his tail and all his markings, scratching up. Oh yeah. What a wonderful bird. He's going to settle down now. He's looking around here for something to catch. Look at him look. Oh, yeah. He's checking everything that moves in that little field right below him. Oh, he turned around here now. Oh, yeah. He's going to preen up from this direction and show us his breast feathers now. Lucky is that. Look how yellow those feet are. Scratching his head a little bit. My goodness. Well, we certainly like this. Now he's going to get down there and do the breast feathers. You can see a little white on his head too when he gets a certain direction there. Now we really like those markings on the wings and the tail. And you get him preening up. My goodness. Well, we're certainly glad we came down here. I've been checking out several other birds today and uh, really happy to find this guy in this place. Oh, yeah, he's doing his feathers preening up. Saw some crows and other things close by, but they've accepted him now because uh, they've seen him so much. He's a uh, they know this is his territory too, so they don't bother him like they used to. Oh yeah, he's still hunting now. We're keeping an eye on him. Look at this guy. Beautiful sunlight. I'll come in a little bit more, I think. There he is. Now you can really see the details on his face and his wings. Excellent lighting. The sun is coming in at the perfect angle. And he's hunting that little patch of grass right below him. It's like somebody's yard. Well, he kind of flinched there for a second. Oh yeah, still posing. He watches every movement in the grass. I'll give us a little profile shot there. Oh, it's our juvenile red-shouldered hawk. Been hanging around here for quite a while. Oh yeah, now he's really looking. There he goes on the hunt. Look at him go. Now here's our peregrine falcon in the water, thinking about taking the bath. She waded out to where it's halfway deep. She was on her favorite light pole. There she got a little drink. And I think she's wanting to take a bath. And I want to make a movie of it. Oh yeah, she's bobbing in there now. Let's see what happens here. Scratching up a little bit. She, uh... Cruised every night on the Boeing Aerospace Building, and uh, 
Oh yeah, look at her bathe now, bobbing around a little bit, having a good time. Yeah, she obviously had caught something to eat earlier a little bit. She was on her light pole, and I'd made a small move yet. Oh yeah, look at her bobbing and splashing now, and she decided to fly down here and take a bath. I'm all excited about it. I've been filming the Peregrine Falcon here at the Boeing Aerospace Building for a few years. I've never caught her bathing. I actually got fairly close now. So We're having filtered light. This should come in very good. She's got big eyes she's got there. And she's actually used to people. Where she roosts, they're working around there with a road equipment and digging and the, the noise doesn't seem to bother so oh yeah she works really well with the people I'm actually shooting from my car window I have a window mount from my camcorder so the car serves as a blind I can get fairly close and uh, I've got a clamp to the window and she's here just taking a little bath and looking around actually she's making a very good movie for us not really getting into the bath vigorously, but she is bathing. Yeah, she's fluffing around a little bit. This is the female. We're still waiting for the male to return here. He winters out here too, but he's late this year, so we are a little bit concerned about that. There she's getting another little drink. Maybe she'll bob in the water again. They like to stay cleaned up because they're a raptor. They eat meat. And blood is a contaminant, so they need to stay uh, fastidious and clean. So it helps keep down on the diseases. Well, I think we're going to call that good then. We got a pretty good movie here of her, and doesn't look like she's going to get really into her bath too much. Just a little cleanup. So we'll call that good then. And enjoy the video. Oh, yeah, look at this one preening up. Got her foot up there, nice color. It's a great day. We got beautiful blue sky today and we're finding the birds. Oh yeah, got the preen up, got the leg out. It's pretty relaxed. Well, it was kind of a really foggy morning and the birds were just kind of drying off, warming up and now they're enjoying that intense sunshine and feeling that wonderful warmth of the sun and getting them feathers all preened up. We like coming down here. We call this the bird block. It's a wildlife area, wetland. We got ducks and starlings and everything a, a bird of prey would want. Every kind of food there is. And we get a chance to make good videos of them. We're lucky to find this peregrine in the tree here. This one's an adult. You can tell by the feathers. Good healthy looking bird, nice and yellow around the eyes and the sear and the feet. Obviously getting all the vitamins and nutrients it needs, so. Alright. Oh, just the preening up. Them feathers in shape. Well, this is the fastest creature on the planet, so you gotta have those feathers in tip top shape. Peregrine Falcon. Oh yeah, doing the back between the feathers there and getting all preened up. I've been seeing several, without doing the tail, see? I've been seeing several birds of prey the last few days, so we're really lucked out. We like it when they preen. Oh yeah, look how big those feet are. My goodness. Kind of looking over here now, keeping an eye on me. Now doing the belly feathers. A complete makeover with the feathers here, getting everything squared away. Well, we like it when they preen. 